What's going on guys? It's KDR here and today I am starting something kind of new on my channel that I hope you all of you guys will enjoy and today we are going to be coming at you with week 8 team of the week players. I just kind of want to start this thing because I do enjoy going through every single ultimate team player, the new team of the week players that is. I do enjoy going through all of them, seeing their new statistics and seeing who gets the best cards of the week on Madden 16 and I kind of want to show you guys too just in case if you guys don't aren't really into looking that much for the players I kind of want to just show you guys see if you guys enjoy it just look at all the team of the week players I'll be going into detail on each and every one of them each week from here on out so if you guys do enjoy this after watching and you want to see more of them please make sure to hit that subscribe button to never miss another video because I will be putting these out weekly for every new team of the week players that come out so let's jump straight into it all right so the first player we have here is Taiwan Jones wide receiver for the Raiders having four punt returns for 101 yards and one catch for 59 yard touchdown in a big win over the New York Jets so here is the first card that auction just ended let's just go down here to make sure this one doesn't end um He's got decent statistics, 95 speed, which is not bad at all. 93 elusiveness, you guys can look at the statistics, I don't need to read them off really. So yeah, this is the first and lowest overall team of the week card. Very nice statistics against the Jets. I mean, having four punt returns, it's almost averaging like around 25 yards per return. And he had one huge 59 yard touchdown catch. So very nice card. It's not, it's good for a gold card, I'll say that, especially with the 95 speed in the statistics, six feet tall. Not the, not the tallest that you can go, but it's still a very good card to have if you guys do pull it in your in your pro packs, if you're buying any, or any pack really. This would definitely be a good card to have. And you can see right here, he's going around like, this is on Xbox. I don't know if Xbox and PS4 really differ that much. But right now you can see that he's going for around 12, 12.2K around there right now. He'll probably, he might go up later in the night when more people pull him. I, I don't know, more people might want to buy him but he's going for around 12k right now. The next card you can see we have right here is Quan Alexander for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And the reason he got this team of the week card is because after playing with the after suffering the loss of his 17-year-old brother, he was killed over the weekend. The next day, he put up 11 tackles and had one interception and a strip for a fumble on Julio Jones. So the kid played his heart out. Props to him. Sorry for his loss. But he played one hell of a game after the loss of his brother. So very, very nice game. Props to him. And you can see this. You can see the statistics right here. Guy, I have trouble saying that word. You can see the statistics right here. 6-1, 90 speed, 76 awareness, 90 power, 84 zone coverage. You can see all the statistics. Again, I don't really have to read them. No, another decent card. Not not the best. I mean, I'm sure that there's definitely better middle, middle linebackers out there. But it, it will also be a nice pull on Team of the Week. And you can see here, there is only four cards up right now. So if you guys, if some of these cards sell and you guys pull one on Xbox or PS4, I'm not sure how much would be up on PS4. But if you guys definitely get one and you are looking to sell it and some of these cards go, it would definitely be a good steal. You get an easy 25k out of it if you already have someone better than that or if you do not want to keep him. So be on the lookout for this card. It's a really nice card actually. It has really good statistics for a middle linebacker and I enjoy it. You can see the next card that we have here is Mark Barron free safety for the St. Louis Rams. And the reason he got team of the week was because Barron led his team with 10 tackles, two for a loss, and was targeted eight times and only gave up three catches. So he does get an 83 overall team of the week card. I'm not sure how much or what overall his original card is, but very nice statistics and good stats right here, clearly. I'm talking about from the game and on the card. He has 6-2 for a free safety, not bad. 89 speed, 91 acceleration. 78 zone coverage, he's pretty good card, 96 power, so this would not be a bad card to pull either, as you guys can see from the statistics, nice card in my opinion, and you can see he is really only going for around 9k, so if you guys are looking for a steal at a free safety, and you don't really have anyone that fits the caliber of this position, definitely look for this Mark Barron card, highly recommend it, it is a very nice card actually, for what people would give it credit for with only being up for 9k. Next card we have here is Jacob Tammy for the Atlanta Falcons. He's 84 overall tight end. You can I'll put up the statistics right here as I read this. He had 10 catches on 12 targets for 103 yards and one touchdown in their loss to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So I honestly still can't believe that the Buccaneers pulled off that win over the Falcons. Props to them. 
but you can see the stats right here. 6'3", 85 speed, 83 catch in traffic, 72 strength. It's just, it's a pretty good card. I mean, all Team of the Week cards are very nice. This is another nice card that they put on the, on the Week 8 Team of the Week. So if you guys want to check out a nice tight end Team of the Week card, highly recommend looking at this Jacob Tammy. And now we are getting straight into the elite cards for this week eight team of the week. And the first one, I do apologize if I say his last name wrong, Texans fans or anyone else that knows it. Whitney Merkulis, I'm going to go with that. But that is another, this is the first elite card for week eight team of the week. And after his statistics this weekend of having seven tackles, four for losses, four hits on the quarterback, and three and a half sacks and a win over the Tennessee Titans. Very nice stats. And we're going to go to the back of the card. He's 6'4", 86 speed, 92 tackling, 80, 96 acceleration, 92 power, 84 strength. I'm sorry if I already said that. But yep, this is very good statistics for an elite team of the week card for week eight. So if you guys are looking for a right out linebacker, go after him. You can see his price right now. I'm going to that. He's only about 20K. 20K for a pretty good right out linebacker. 86 overall. That's not a bad price at all. So you also have a likely in pulling him in pro packs or any pack that you will open. And now we are to the next elite in team of the week for week eight. And it is CJ Anderson. After playing the Packers last night, he had 14 carries for 101 yards, 7.2 rushing yards per carry last night with a 28 yard touchdown in a key win over Green Bay. So. This card, look at the back, 5'8", 87 speed, 92 agility, 96 carrying, 95 trucking, 88 elusiveness, 87 juke move. This is a very nice running back if you guys are looking for a position to fill in the running back spot. Look at this CJ Anderson card. It is nothing to be messing with. I do enjoy this card a lot. I would pick it up, but if you guys have ever watched me play Ultimate Team, I do have DeMarco Murray. Adrian Peterson and LaDainian Tomlinson, all elites, so I am in no need whatsoever for a running back at the time. But it's a very nice card, not going to lie. If you guys want a new running back, check him out. And now we are on to the very next elite, which is Chandler Jones. And the reason he got the Team of the Week card was he had four solo tackles, two tackles for loss, three hits on the quarterback, and two sacks in a division win over the Miami Dolphins last Thursday night. So you can see the back of the card here. It is 6'5", 82 speed, 84 tackling, 85 strength. Very nice card. I would recommend getting this as well. I recommend getting all the Team of the Week cards. I mean, they are all stacked. It's just, it's always cool when you pull a Team of the Week card because it's just got that little green flash below. You know you've got a good card. And we are going to look at the price range right now. And the lowest right now is actually 55K. So if you do pull this and you don't need him, you're going to get a quick 55, 60K coins depending on how it goes later tonight you could get a good profit off this for pulling it out of a pro pack so another very nice card for team of the week and now we are moving on to the first wide receiver team of the week card for week e week eight and it is none other than alshon jeffrey and the reason for this is he had 10 catches on 15 targeted towards him for 116 yards and one touchdown at halftime to tie it up so this card this card is a straight up beast 6'3", 88 speed. The speed might, might kind of kill it, but still, it is a very good card. Look at that. Look at the statistics right there. 94 catch in traffic, I'd say, is its best, best stat. And with a 92 jump, I think that, yeah, I'd assume that's jump. But, yeah, very nice statistics for this Alshon Jeffrey card. And you can see if you do pull it, it is not going for cheap. Lowest is 113K right now on the market. So if you get this pull and you don't need him or you don't want him, I don't know why you wouldn't. It is a very good card. You can put him up on the, on the auction block and get an easy 100 plus K on it. So if you guys pull this card or if you want it, just showing you right now, that is what it's up for. And now we are moving on to an absolute beast. 92 overall, Richard Sherman limited time card for team of the week. Reasoning for this card, he was... Targeted seven times against the Dallas Cowboys yesterday in America's Game of the Week, but only gave up one catch for 15 yards. Look at the back of this card, guys. 6'3", 90 speed. Just look, 92 ag agility. It's just, this card is insane. I, he's only available until Wednesday morning, 11-4, to be, 11 4, November 4th, to be able to be pulled in packs. So I suggest if you want this guy, if you want to pull a miracle and pull him in a pack, start opening pro packs right now because he is only up for two days by the time I make this video. This card is just insane. His price is not going to be easy to, to attain, as you guys would guess. Lowest price right now on the market is 488,000 coins. 
So, if you get this pull and you don't want him for some reason, I don't know why you wouldn't want this Richard Sherman card. But if you, if you do not want it, you are going to make quite the profit on this card. And last but certainly not least, we have a 93 overall Drew Brees after having one of the games of his career. Throws for a monster 40 completions on 50 attempts for 511 yards and tied the single NFL game touchdown record. He threw seven touchdowns in the game against the New York Giants with a total of 101 points scored in that game. What a game by Drew Brees. We're going to go to the back of the card now. Six feet, 71 speed. So that's not, like, the speed won't really kill this card. You got you got 91 throw power, 95 awareness. Just look at, look at the stats. This card is an absolute animal. If you guys pull this card, I am jealous of you because a 93 overall Drew Brees Team of the Week. I was expecting something right after I watched this game. I was just waiting for the, to see the Team of the Week card this morning. And here it is. And we're going to go to the price range now. The lowest right now is 255k, so he's actually selling for less than Sherman, which doesn't surprise me at all, actually. That Sherman card is insane, but I mean, I'm not downgrading this card at all. This card is also quite ridiculous. 93 overall Drew Brees, and that is going to put an end to Week 8 Team of the Week cards. We went through all 10 of them, you guys, so I hope you guys did enjoy me going through all 10 of the cards. If you did, please make sure to leave a like. It helps me out tremendously, and it does not take that much time out of your day. Also, make sure to subscribe down below if you guys did enjoy the video and want to see future Madden Ultimate Team videos along with Team of the Week players for weeks 9 through 17. So yeah, again, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.